All right. Time for another session of malt reviews, you guys. Malt reviews. We are bringing a bottle from our very favorite distillery, yes. Springbank, old yes. school Springbank. This is a 1965 vintage bottled in 1987. So a 21 to 22 year old Springbank. It is bottled at 46%. This is bottled by Moon Imports. It's from the Bird series. If you're familiar with these old school Moon Imports bottlings, there's the Bird series, there's the costumes, the, the costumes the, there's a couple others. A couple others, yeah. And they, they all have beautiful artwork on the label. There are two legendary spring banks from this series. One is this one, which is um, cask, well, butt, but. 367. And then the other one is but three, no, sorry. This one this is, is 363. 363. Yeah, sorry. This one's 363, and then there's the other one that's 367. Unfortunately, when we ordered the other butt, um, it arrived with the cork off and the liquid had already spilled out. It was one of the saddest days in our whiskey journey, but unfortunately, we lost that bottle. But the best, sm best smelling cellophane ever. 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 Yeah. We were like licking the box. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this one is all good. Um, they're both, both casks have 504 bottles. This is bottle number 360. And, uh, if I haven't said it yet, it's bottled at 46%. It, you know, with only 500 bottles of this ever bottled, bottled in 1987, legendary status, old school style spring bank. You know, we feel very fortunate to be owning this bottle and trying it. And it actually is a recent purchase. As you can see, we have only had a dram out of this before. So not, um, not one where we've tried a bunch, but we're familiar with it. We've tried it and we've been nosing this for a good 30 minutes now before we turn the camera on. What else? The cost of this bottle goes 4,000-ish. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's around four thousand dollars, which is an extreme amount of money. But some of these older legendary bottles now are going way over ten thousand dollars, and they're becoming impossible to get. So, in that world, it's slightly more affordable. I know that sounds insane, mm -hmm. but, but yeah, it is what it is these days. All right, this has been breathing for quite a bit on the nose. And I would say it kind of needs to breathe because. Uh, at first experience, this actually nose is heavier than 46%, like a cask strength. It needs to breathe. Yeah, I mean, 46 is legit though, you know? Like, yeah. you're not, it's not 40. I mean, it makes a huge, huge difference between the 40 and 46. It does. And we are using these, 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 the style of glass where it really releases a lot of, right. a lot of everything. I'm getting, complexity which we you know a lot of these old style you're, you're definitely getting that spring bank funk old school spring bank funk different than the current spring bank funk it's still funk but that old school sherry spring bank funk no. is so 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 different yeah. that that cola and honey mustard that rich vinaigrette flavor definitely is there that stays kind of with the old school sherry um, spring banks from the 50s 60s those are just almost always there. But you get tons of roasted nuts, cashews, like cashew butter, like creamy cashew elements. And you get like some really unique fruits like kumquats and lychee. Definitely sweet, sweet orange, almost going towards um, mandarin. And then um, some some hun um, some honeydew melon. So really really fruity. There are those those fresh fruits that I just got like mentioned. And then of course the dried fruits like like raisins and dates and figs. They're there as well. It's a party. Yeah. It's a party in a glass with complexity and just uniqueness and, and that that old style. It wouldn't be hard for I think for us to grab this blind and say it's an old old school spring bank. For sure. I actually get, I was expecting fruitier at first. 
based on what I've read about it, I'm actually getting super dark, heavy cola, coffee, espresso, more on darker sides, like bitter sides. And like Narvi said, super roasted and chopped and tense almonds, cashews, like almond oil, cashew oil, uh, walnut oil, like the Italian uh, Nocino, which is a concentrated walnut liqueur. I'm getting super heavy amounts of that. That eventually dissipates and it lends itself to very fresh fruits. I get a lot of banana, uh, coconut, uh, kumquat, like Narby said, some tropical fruits. But definitely I was surprised at this dark rich cola and, uh, <clears throat> and the coffee and espresso, which I didn't, ex I didn't expect. I haven't had that much with Springbank, a lot more so than the normal honey mustard. Definitely complex, different. Very, very complex. There's, there's also like a meaty element to this, um, uh, also like a, almost like a soy sauce. I guess that's where like the vinaigrette element and the soy mm -hmm. sauce are kind of there. Very, very rich like that. And then like a brown, a brown sugar like seasoned ham. Oh yeah. Definitely getting that, that meatiness, but definitely like a sweet, sweet meaty element. Almost like a Christmas ham, right? Yeah, because you have, <clears throat> you do have dark, rich, exquisite honey, like that sugary element, and then with the meats, it lends itself to exactly what you said. It's like it's like a perfect honey baked ham. In terms of peppers and spices and things like that, I'm not getting a lot of that. It's very like very soft. Yeah. And and along with like the kind of smoked, uh, sugary, burnt caramelly, you know, honey baked ham, I'm getting like some nice sweet uh, pipe tobacco. It's a nice sweet leather, like like fresh, brand new leather. The complexity just takes you all over. It's literally like you can literally almost say any tasting note and it's there. So the complexity kind of goes all over the place. It's just awesome, 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 unique, unique whiskey. Yeah, some some of our of our favorite spring bakes actually are not nearly as complex as this. It's more just tons of what we love: the cola, the honey mustard, sherry vinaigrette and that spring bank sherry funk. This is actually like off the charts of complexity for a spring bank that I've had. And what's cool about what whiskey, right, is like in this stage we're getting certain things and then later on you're gonna get some else, something else and every day, you know, your palate of course changes but the whiskey also changes and each time you try and you do pick up different things so it's like one of those things where like you review this on a different day, you might pick up on slightly different things um, than you are on this day. But de I definitely experienced old school Springbank. And even if you gave this to me blind, I think I would know that it for sure is an old school Springbank. It stands out so much. And I've had so many different variations of it where. That's where, what I'm saying. It's, it's different and it's very complex, but I still definitely know it's a Springbank. There's very, the lightest, lightest bit, I'm not even sure if it is, but to me, the lightest bit of peat is expressing itself in here as like a toasted element, like toasted marshmallow, toasted coconut, toasted banana, a little bit of the toasted sherry funk wood. I'm agreeing with you with everything. The part I'm not picking up as much on as, as, as you are is the, is the coffee element. That, that's why I was I was so surprised. Yeah, I'm not that much I'm not grabbing bag. that. I mean, I could kind of sense there's a lot of dark elements. Like I said, like the soy sauce and the dark brown sugars and the meats and everything, like it's there. But I wouldn't think coffee. Mm. I'm trying to find it though, but and now a lot like first first thing was that strong coffee, strong espresso. Why I was blown away, but definitely as time goes on. A lot more fresh fruits are coming out, which is kind of what I expected when I was reading about it. The Asian element though, right? Like soy, like meats Absolutely. that have been seasoned in soy sauce. Exactly. Yeah. And you can also definitely find the ham with the brown sugar yeah. and a lot oh, yeah, almost like, like very sweet, like the, like a beef teriyaki. Yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah, steak, yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful yeah. steak, like teriyaki. Absolutely. But very, when you when cool. you when you mix that with like the kumquats and the lychee and the orange and the and the honey melon and like the cola and the honey mustard it's nuts. and the, the, the rich vinaigrette <laughs> it's nuts, when you nuts. mix all that and it's just like woo, 
Yeah, like you can't find that outside of whiskey. And then, but still, underlying, like I said, is a lot of the darker elements go away. The beautiful, luscious, fresh apricots are coming through. The peaches, the lychees, like Narvi mentioned. I mean, the beautiful spring baked fruits you become accustomed to yeah. are all there as well. Oh, I think we did the nose of justice. Oh my god. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do the palate. Let's do it. It's complex, man. It's nuts. And it changes. It changed a lot. Incredible in the palate. You do, um, don't want to rush your tasting notes on the palate because so many changes start happening, but definitely rich sherry. Um, now it's almost like more chocolate and I the coffee you mentioned and the espressos, I'm definitely getting, definitely, maybe it's because you said it, definitely getting that on the palate because there's a bitter element where it's like chocolate and kind of coffee, yeah. orange peel. It was like sweet, sweet, sweet citrus on the nose where it's a little bit more bitter on the palate. Um, you can definitely tell this has been sitting in like a, a rich first fill style cask. Yeah, it's screaming first fill. Sure, yeah, but it's sure. definitely screaming first fill. It's and like back and forth chocolate coffee with the chocolate like leads to the coffee a little bit. Absolutely. Sweet to bitter, yeah. Absolutely, and you do get those fruit elements that we mentioned, it's not nearly as rich and intense as it was on the nose, which is often the case. Yeah. But, but you know, like I said, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more uh, on the bitter end, which is usually the, the, the way whiskey is, uh, where it's so fresh on the nose, uh, where, you know, that sweet orange, like I was saying, becomes kind of more like an orange peel. Um, get hints of that kumquat and those tropical fruits we were mentioning, but not as, as rich. But again, very complex on the palate. I would add elements of coffee and chocolate on the pal uh, on the palate and leather and more oak, um, along with a lot of the things. Just not as rich on the palate that we found in the notes. Yeah, it's almost being very critical. It's almost a, for me almost a little uh, overly drying, overly woody, overly bitter. Only, I don't think it's overly woody. I think the way, what, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you're, when you're comparing it to the nose, you're wanting an extreme amount of those, well, those, those also, fruits. Also comparing it to other similar spring banks yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 but yeah. But yeah. obviously, yeah, obviously it's not gonna be like that uh, nose to palate. But I still get tons, like not as much fruits, but tons of brown sugar and burnt caramel, mm -hmm. and definitely a lot of the chocolate mm -hmm. coffee and espresso. Mm -hmm. Like definitely that the wood, the bittery kind of wood spice takes over for palate versus the nose. Well, I would say the the soy sauce and the meats and the ham and the brown sugar, coffee, chocolate, that becomes the forefront. Leather, oak, yeah. um, little tobacco becomes the forefront of the palate mm -hmm. and the fruits are more in the background. Where on the nose, right. they're all intertwined in the perfect way where you're getting equal amounts of everything. Yeah, the nose is insane. Yeah, and the finish is, it lingers. It definitely, definitely lingers. Getting tons of those meat qualities and the- Tons of meat, Yeah, definitely more meat than fruit. Yeah, I think when you said sweet beef jerky is like perfect, because yeah. that's like brown sugar, beef, soy sauce, um, combining all that, oh, yeah. bitter orange, <laughs> orange liqueur. Yeah, really, really complex, really good. We did try, you know, just about a couple hours ago, we tried the 1964 Bowmore, yeah. which was out of this world. Nutty. So, no, you know, you know you're comparing it to, to other epic whiskeys. I'd say, here's the way I would rank it. 95 on the nose, 93 on the palate, which equals a 94 overall. I think that's, that's a, it's an incre incredible whiskey. It deserves that score, but that's kind of the way I would score it. I would say the exact, I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. You gotta analyze the nose, nose and palate separately. And yeah. I might, I might be pushing, I might 
push the palate down maybe a half point. Yeah. But the nose is so epic that it cannot get lower than 94. Yeah, I think 94 does this justice. There is that element of old spring bank rarity, and we were not judging the, you know, the score on that. Part of you has a special connection to it. So if I was battling between a 93 and a 94, it, you know, we're considering doing half points. Because if we did do a half point, maybe this would be a you know half point lower. But 94, I think, is the right point. 93 and a half to 94. But that's something we're playing around with, we're talking about in terms of our scoring. It, once you get to 90, start doing half points. Do more we don't see a point of doing half points in the 80s and 70s. No. We don't really review whiskeys that are in the 70s, but in the 80s. Um, don't see a point because it's so hard to know half point here and there, but I, I feel like I can easily pinpoint a half point 90 and up. Yeah, to more accurately differentiate between two. To whiskeys. more accurately differentiate, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, incredible stuff. So excited, so happy that we get to try this and uh, gonna let it breathe even further. Oh, this, this is gonna be as the air hits it. Yeah. Most likely, it's yeah. gonna just get better and better. Yeah, yeah, and, and this had this bottle has been opened for a good three months, so it's not we opened it today. Yeah, you know we had a dram of it, and then this is the second time having it. All right, you guys, please subscribe if you haven't. Comment. We always answer to all comments. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys soon for another review. Cheers. Cheers.